My name is Nancy Garza. I was diagnosed in 2015. My first symptom that I noticed was when I, I didn't know what scleroderma was, so I didn't know it was a symptom, but I was at, um, getting some dental work done and I kept noticing that the dentist was having a harder time opening my mouth and it felt like it was gonna rip in half and I kept complaining to him that uh, I feel like my mouth is shrinking. And then we talked about it and he told me it was some kind of some problem and I looked it up and I didn't understand it. I let it go. The second symptom I noticed was that I could not finish a sentence without gasping for air. And then I knew something was up. It took one year from my symptom to my diagnosis. Um, scleroderma affects my way of life at this point. Uh, after I was diagnosed with scleroderma, at the first moment I was told I was devastated. I, I felt like I had been given a death sentence. I felt all the joy in my life leave me. and. So when I came to terms with it a couple of weeks later, I knew that I had to educate myself and find out everything I possibly could about it to give myself a fighting chance. The hardest part of scleroderma for me is the unknown. And that's why I try to attend um, all the educational uh, seminars and support groups that I can just so that I can talk to people that already have it and have been dealt with it for years and because I'm like a sponge I just want to know everything there is possibly about it to see how other people's experiences um, can fit into some of the things that I'm experiencing and what I have to look to forward to understanding of how things are going to affect me so that I recognize them when they're happening to me. I have attended the Scleroderma Foundation um, support group uh, that started new in uh, Riverside and uh, today was my first attendance to the educational day which I found very interesting and very very helpful and I'll do it again. This has helped me by just meeting some wonderful people and getting support from them to letting me know that it's going to be okay. And um, also like Tina, and Dr. Clemens and all the doctors that I've heard speak, um, it's just encouraging to know that, you know, they're trying as hard as they can um, to find, if, if not the cure today, but definitely um, the cure for all of us at some point. I hope that Scleroderma, Scleroderma Foundation will become bigger and that people will join in more and that people, even who don't have Scleroderma, become aware of this disease and what the people have to go through and that they also educate themselves and see how important it is because I put it way up there like just like the same as cancer and stuff like that. It, it's important because a lot of people's lives are affected so I really hope that even if you don't have scleroderma that you can um, join the people that do and help them. Please support the Scleroderma Foundation because there's a lot of people who need your help. My name is Nancy Garza and I have scleroderma. 10,000 people die from scleroderma every year. We need a cure. Please help the Scleroderma Foundation and help people like me.